All right, Freddy, I just got to your dad's house. Are you sure he's going to tell me anything about the location of Ennard? Look, I know it's gonna seem weird, but he's the best chance we got. I guess. All right, well, I'm gonna head inside, so I guess I'll text you or call you when it's said and done. So yeah, yeah. don't miss me too much. <laughs> Please don't look for me after. I'll find you. All right, whatever. You're no fun. All right, Golden Freddy. Let's see if you'll give me the answers that I so desperately need. Oh, Golden Freddy. I'm sure you're going to pop out of nowhere at some point, so where is it going to be? Oh, to my right this time. Well, in this form, you might not be as fun to scare. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? You don't like my new look? Oh no, I recognize this curse all right, and it's not fun oh. to deal with. A curse? That's the first time I've heard someone refer to it as that. So far, I've considered it a blessing, Golden Freddy. I mean, I'm sure you know of everything that's happened to me thus far. I tend to not pry into my son's lives as much as you would think I would, but I do peek in every now and then. And I'm sure you peeked in and saw that I was possessed by Innard. You didn't feel like stepping in would be something you'd like to do? Help and old pal. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Why is that, hmm? I thought you were an all-powerful being, aren't you? Do you remember what I said about if an issue is caused with machinery, uh. it needs to be solved by machine. If it's made by magic, then I can fix it. Whatever. If I try to use magic to fix something caused by machine, then it makes the problem worse. I get it, I get it, I get it. And besides, that's not why I'm here. My new look isn't why I'm here, not even. I mean, I could change you back if you want. <laughs> I don't want. All right. I, in fact, actually like how I currently am. What I want from you is a favor, if you're willing. Uh, no. What do you mean, no? I haven't even asked. You're going to ask for some kind of shortcut to something that you should be able to figure out yourself. No, it's not a shortcut at all. I I can't figure it out myself because I don't know the answer and that's why I come to you. So, all-powerful Golden Freddy, will you please help me, and your son, arguably, know the location of Ennard? No. What? Ugh, why? Give me one good reason why you won't help. Because if I solve this issue for you, then you'll come back to me over and over and over again to solve I already all do come issues. back to you over and over. I came back to you as far as whoever your son's father was. There's been several times I've come to see you for issues. And I'm probably going to keep coming to you for more issues. But this one is, it's important. You know <sighs> what Ennard can do, right? Oh, I'm aware. And I want to rip him up towards. But he has the ability to take control of any animatronic, including your son, I might add. You just want an animatronic like that on the loose? Oh, he tried. He tried what? Taking over your son? Yep. And? Who do you think stopped it? <laughs> oh, so you'll intervene when it comes to protecting your son, but not when it comes to protecting the rest of his family? What about Roxanne, huh? Roxanne is able to handle herself from what I saw. If I try to interfere... She probably wouldn't like it that much. Well, if you interfered to begin with, he wouldn't have gotten so bad to begin with. Oh, you wanted me to interfere? What if I just came to you and stopped you from coming into my lab? What would that have taught you? Well, honestly, I would have been angry, but at least I would have not been controlled for several months. Oh, yeah. Because that's a good thing. Because you needed to learn not to mess with things that are out of your control. Well, it wasn't the first time and it won't be the last. No, I doubt it will be. That's the final answer, huh? You're not going to help me find Ennard? <sighs> I can help you along the way, but I won't tell you straight out where he is, because I don't even know where he is, actually. Alright, well, hint number one. Shoot! Well, you already have your theory on who may have taken him, right? Well, we have a theory, yeah. Vanny. But, I mean, we don't know where she's stationed, we don't know where to look. Think about it. She has no magic. She's completely human. Meaning everything has to be within distance of her. Ennard is still close by, if you think about it. Well, I didn't disagree with that. But it's hard, because if Fanny does have him, you understand how bad that is, right? I mean, she's more technologically advanced than me. She was able to take control of all the animatronics in the pizza plex. And if she has entered, she can take control of every animatronic ever. It's a big issue. She's a strange occurrence. Originally, she was just that actor for the game. 
but she went insane and actually became the rabbit from there. She became obsessed. She became obsessed, and I also believe it has something to do with that glitch trap friend of yours. Think he may have had a hand in her creation. Oh, he's not a friend of mine. I never even met the guy. You don't want to meet him. He's not very pleasant. So, are you saying you actually don't know where Ennard is? <sighs> My son is a lot of things. My son can be smart. He could be strong. He can even be the best friend you could even ask for. And he was a great son. But he's also really freaking dumb and dense when it comes to things. He unintentionally showed Vanny how to hide from me. Gotcha. Knowing which charm to use, what not to say, that kind of stuff. That's really unfortunate, isn't it? I can sense that Ennard is not far, though. That's all I know. If I could find him, I could destroy him. But Vanny seems to have figured out a way to hide from me. Well, I guess that helps a little bit. He's not far, so I guess he could still be in the house. He could be at the pizza plex. He's not in the house. I made sure of that myself. Well, I guess I have a lot more searching to do, but before I do that, I wanted to try something. <sighs> Go ahead. Do you know what I'm gonna try? Oh, yeah. Well, as I'm sure you know, ever since I've become heartsick, baby, I have powers. Now, I don't actually want to possess you or anything, but I think it'd just be entertaining if I was able to make a, well, God, as they refer to you as, like you, fall to your knees, so. Yes? How do you feel? Slightly stinky. And? I guess I'm kind of hungry for some Angus beef. All right, we'll just try this. Sit. On what? The, the ground. Really? It's so dirty, though. Sit. <laughs> okay. Uh, I see you were just trying to mess with me. Yeah, no, sorry, but your low level of skill with that doesn't even compare to mine. Watch. <laughs> this is how you do it. Put the candlestick back, won't you, my dear? Why don't you tell me how you feel about me? I feel like your hat is way too small for your big head. Uh, that's kind of fair. And why don't you tell me who do you love right now? Myself. Good. Now I can release you. Whoa. What happened? Oh, I showed you what real charm magic is. Whatever. <laughs> We're not going to pretend like I haven't had it for only a couple of weeks at this point. I'll get better. Oh, I'm sure you will. Unless my son figures out how to break your curse. <laughs> you can see the future, right? Every now and then, I can see glimpses. Well, you and I both know how the curse is broken. Who would it be? Now that would be a spoiler. I guess, um, we'll have to see if whoever it is is able to, uh, cure me or not. But, as of right now... The only person I personally love is myself. Sure, I might care for people, but not as much as I used to. In the meantime, I'm gonna take this. What? Hey, I like wait, it. wait, no, that's actually a one of a kind thing. But I like it. I got that but from I King like George back then. Okay. Hey, hey, I can't just magically make another one. That's too bad, hey. isn't it? Hey. <laughs> All right, candlestick. I'm gonna call you Frederick. I'll see you later, Golden Freddy.